Hi, this is Hector Garcia. And one of the most common services I provide for my clients is consolidating uh, multiple companies, uh, multiple uh, QuickBooks files into one, uh, specifically for the purpose of combining reports. So grabbing information, accounting information from multiple entities, multiple companies, and creating one consolidated financial statement, uh, profit and loss balance sheet, et cetera, et cetera. Now, my email is hector at garciacpa.com. So if you have any questions, go ahead and send them over via email. Now, let's break down what are the options. If you got uh, QuickBooks, whether it's QuickBooks Online or Desktop, Pro Premier Enterprise, whatever, you can we can basically narrow it down to four. If I got QuickBooks Enterprise, that's the easiest one. That's my, my most common recommended solution for anybody that wants to consolidate is to work with QuickBooks Enterprise. Um, it is the most expensive version of QuickBooks, but it is the most robust, the most complete from a, a reporting standpoint. So that's actually the central theme of today's video. We're actually gonna show that process step by step. Now, if you don't have QuickBooks Enterprise, you can export the reports to Excel and then combine them manually. So I'll create a, a second video uh, just on that completely separate. Now, the other thing we can do is we can use a single QuickBooks file to manage multiple entities by using classes and or locations. However, that could be a problem because, um, you know, for legal purposes and audit purposes, IRS purposes, et cetera, et cetera, you may want to keep this multiple entities completely separated and not commingled. But it is a solution that otherwise wouldn't require you to have QuickBooks Enterprise or do a lot of extensive work to combine them. And then finally, you can use a third-party app. So if uh, the QuickBooks Enterprise consolidation is not good enough, or maybe you don't want to move to QuickBooks Enterprise because you're work working with QuickBooks Online, which I understand QuickBooks Online is a great uh, program, you could use a third-party consolidator and there's some apps that are web-based for QuickBooks Online, some are desktop-based. Now, real quick, just to kind of review those. So if you don't have QuickBooks Enterprise, you're never going to get it. You're not going to upgrade to it, whatever. Uh, you're working with QuickBooks Pro Premier Accountant on the desktop side or online, whichever, Simple Start, Essentials, or Plus. Those are my top three favorite consolida consolidation apps, QVinci, Spotlight Reporting, and Fathom. Now, all all of them uh, vary in pricing. Um, from my experience, any of these apps that you go with, working with three, four, five companies, uh, don't expect to be paying anything less than $80 to $120 a month for these apps. So they're not cheap. However, they do make consolidation uh, uh, painless and also create those reports on the fly, real time, in a web-based application. That's actually really, really nice. And you can combine, um, all of these allow you to combine. So some desktop, some online, that's actually awesome. Now, if you're working with QuickBooks desktop only, there's three more the sort of advanced apps. Uh, one's called QCube, the other one's called Bison Analytics, and then M4F9. All of those are approved by Intuit in the uh, QuickBooks desktop marketplace. Those are really powerful, really robust. Anyway, let's go uh, to today's topic, which is combining reports in QuickBooks Enterprise. So let's go to the demo. And I have two files open just to kind of illustrate here. I have one on uh, the left side of the screen, one on the right side of the screen. And to just to provide some context, what I'm trying to achieve is create a profit and loss, for example, for last fiscal year. Let's do, um, let's do this fiscal year. So one profit and loss from this fiscal year from one company and combine it with another company that's maybe the same ownership group. Let's do this fiscal year. I wanna combine the two because maybe um, these business owners want to know how these two companies uh, do together. So you're looking at both profit and loss here just to kind of see the, the context. So at the end of the day, basically we want the report that shows us a net income of 118 for one, net income for 133 of the other, and then the combination of the two that should be around 250, okay? So how do we do that with QuickBooks Enterprise? It's actually quite easy. Now I can't have both open at the same time, so I definitely would have to uh, close one of them. So let me just close one of them here. And 
leave the other one open. And as long as I have one of them open, and, and by the way, this is not just for one QuickBooks file, this can work with three, four, five, there's actually no limit on how many you can consolidate. And again, you don't have to buy a third party software because you're working with QuickBooks Enterprise. So you go to the reporting menu. So you open at least one, open, let's call it the first one. And then you go to the reports menu and then you click on combine reports with multiple companies or from multiple companies. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Then it's gonna say, okay, I got one file open. Go ahead and add all the files from all the other QuickBooks files that I need to consolidate. So I click on add files and then I have to look for it uh, in my computer. So they're gonna be in my computer uh, somewhere. In this particular case, uh, they're gonna be in the same way, in the same place where all my, where my other QuickBooks files are. So let me uh, look for it inside the computer. So as I search inside the computer and I go into the folder inside of my uh, Windows machine uh, where my other QuickBooks file is, I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And I could uh, select uh, one by one, right? And add multiple, right? So it, you're not just uh, stuck to one. So we can add one, click on open, and then click on add files and click on one more, click open, and then just start kind of moving them as you go. So I can actually pick uh, multiple ones not just the two that I was showing before, but for, for the time being, let's just talk about these two that we showed just now to avoid um, any confusion. Now on the date range, this is where we select what date range we want to see. So let's say I'm gonna select uh, the entire year here, and then I pick whether I want them in accrual or cash. So let's say I want them both in accrual. And then what is the combined name that I wanna see on the title of the report? Because this is actually gonna create an Excel report for me. This is not going to combine the two QuickBooks files from a database perspective. It's just gonna combine the reports. That's a really important thing. So let's call it a combined uh, group, for example. And then here on the right side, uh, I mean on the re left side, I pick which reports I want. So I typically just pick them all because it doesn't really hurt to have uh, multiple. So I just pick them all. So it creates one really big Excel file with different tabs. Now here where it says Excel options, there's a couple of things that we can do. We can add, um, you know, the little export guide. We can show grids, uh, free Spain, out of fit. Uh, we can do all these options. Normally I just don't really mess with it. I leave it exactly um, like it is. I really don't need to change the settings, but you know, just so you know, there's some settings there that you can change. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, okay. And then I'm gonna click on combine reports in Excel. And then what uh, QuickBooks Enterprise is gonna do is it's gonna close the company file, open each one of them, and it'll ask you to log in. So you do have to have uh, the username and password for every one of those uh, QuickBooks files. And also you have to have a high level of permissions, right? Because you have to be able to pull reports. I mean, if you log in as admin, that would be best, but you have to have uh, almost like admin level uh, permissions to be able to pull all these and log in into each file. So you kind of go through the motions, uh, allow it to log into each one, ask you for the username and password, and it's kind of going through the motions and I'm just basically clicking okay, 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 and I'm waiting. Okay, and that could take anywhere between uh, five to 10 minutes. I had some companies in which I consolidate 15 companies and they're pretty large files and those could take up to 20 minutes. I mean, it could take a while depending on, on how big the databases are. This one in particular uh, took about three minutes to do um, in total. So basically this is the Excel file that was created. Uh, you see a, a full balance sheet here and you see company A and company B in two different uh, columns. And it really helps if the chart of accounts are similar, especially like, look, these two balance sheets are very, very clean. They're not really that different from each other. Notice that this is a pretty much a really nicely readable uh, consolidated set of financial statements. And if you go to the balance sheet summary, that's just as well. They're just really high category accounts. But if you go into the profit and loss, you're gonna see this gets a little messy. Because uh, if you look at the profit and loss here, look how many accounts there are in total. And notice that there's even uh, some accounts here that are only used by one company and some accounts here that's only used by the other company. And this can, this can get even bigger or larger as I get uh, into three, four or five different companies. So it is, uh, it is crucial, very important that you go through your chart of accounts and, um, and try to clean those up as much as possible. 
uh, and, and make them as unified or as similar. Because now take a look at, for example, me trying to print a consolidated financial statement, just the PL itself is three pages in Excel. Uh, so uh, one of the other things you can do is you can collapse uh, some of these uh, sub accounts. So this is the nice thing about Excel. We can just basically uh, come in here and select all the ones that maybe I don't want the details. I can right click and hide them. And same thing as this, I can come here, uh, select all these, right click and hide them. So it wouldn't be that much work to hide them. And uh, just go back to the setting here. When we were combining the reports here on the Excel options, there was one little uh, checkbox here that says auto outline. If I would have picked that auto outline, uh, then there would have been like a little uh, collapse and expand button here on the top that I can expand and collapse uh, those sub levels. But e either way, if you forget to do that, um, selecting a few columns and clicking hide is not uh, that bad. It sure beats doing any of these things uh, by hand anyway. So um, the statement of cash flows also consolidates, the trial balance also consolidates, uh, my profit and loss by class consolidates. So that means that this is gonna go um, class by class across the companies and give you a, a fully expanded PL by class. And then you also got uh, sales by customer. And this is useful if you got the same set of customers in both companies, because you can actually compare uh, companies across, across multiple companies. And that's really it. It doesn't have that many uh, powerful features, but as promised, uh, we have the 118, the 131, and the total of 251 uh, combined. Now, I wanna make a really important uh, note. Notice that I said combine companies, I didn't say consolidate. In the accounting world, consolidation is a little bit more complex than combining. Uh, consolidation involves knowing what the relationship between the two companies are. And if the companies uh, sell to each other, for example, we need to um, remove the inner company sales. So that would require you to do maybe an additional adjustment in Excel or maybe create a, a third consolidating company just for making the journal entries. So, so I know that sounds kind of weird, but you would have to create one more uh, a QuickBooks file with the same chart of accounts as all the other ones and just use it to do consolidating journal entries. That way, um, when you combine all three, they basically um, adjust to each other. So that's something you can do. Um, otherwise, you would have to manually make those adjustments in Excel, intercompany sales, intercompany costs, intercompany accounts payable, intercompany accounts receivable, or maybe even something strange like intercompany inventory transfer. That sort of thing needs to be looked at with the magnifying glass when we do a quote unquote consolidation. So that was combining uh, QuickBooks reports from multiple QuickBooks file using uh, QuickBooks Enterprise. On the next video, part two, we'll talk about doing all this stuff by hand in Excel without using the QuickBooks Enterprise consolidation tool. My name is Hector Garcia. There's my email if you have any questions. Otherwise, I hope you upgrade to QuickBooks Enterprise and find this feature useful for you.